According to Forbes, Iowa is the number one place to do business, but not everyone is benefiting from it. The U.S. Small Business Administration ranks the state dead last for both women and minority business owners. CBS2 News reporter Mugo Digwe here now to explain why and what some are doing to change all that. Mugo. Tiffany and Scott, as the demographic of the state continues to shift, so does the need for more diverse businesses. That's why some are now working to create opportunities for minority business owners to succeed. I noticed that most of the African American products is like in the back. That experience is what convinced Betty McCarter to open Ebony Beauty Supplies. The main thing I wanted was a business that someone, especially African American, could go in and feel. Well, see someone that looks like them and uh, to understand their needs. How you doing today? It's been 14 years and counting since then. It's good to see like a mother come in and she has her young daughter and she's asking, Mom, does she own this? And you know, the mother's saying that she actually owns the place and the big smile that comes on the kid's face. But there aren't many like Betty in Iowa. We are last when it comes to black-owned businesses, and we're last when it comes to women-owned businesses. That's what the Iowa Black Business Summit wants to change. We're going to support them as relates to finding customers and making sure that they can, in essence, leverage those customers to grow their business. The summit has been around for two years now, but will be held in Cedar Rapids for the first time this year. It's going to continue to help business owners believe that they can thrive. Because businesses like Betty's are not only critical to expanding Iowa's economy, but are also a welcoming sign. It shows that the people within the city uh, has a rapport with the African American community. If you would like to participate, we've posted a link on our website, cbs2iowa.com, and that summit is set for this Sunday and Monday. Mugu Odigwe, CBS2 News.